right now on UCB Innovation Inc. I believe that you are living out of this office. Why would you think that? Deciding to secretly live in the office, best decision I ever made. Sorry I'm late. Showing up late is so cool. I'm cool too. Okay. I'll stop vlogging and, and blogging. Most people did that in 2010. Burn. <sighs> We're cooking healthy, and look at the food that we made. Hey, Jeff, did you pick up my dry cleaning? Yes. Hey, Samantha, did you pick up my wet cleaning? That's not a thing. Trying to talk to people about petitioners not being talked to. As you know, company policy is to review employee performance on a completely random basis with no advance notice. Honestly, not the best policy, but I respect it. It is not tied to any salary review and will not lead to any opportunity for promotion. Understood. It can, however, lead to your termination. What? Let us begin. Your record shows a truly remarkable efficiency in your work. Well, thank you. It is almost as if you do not ever leave the office. In fact, I believe that you are living out of this office. I mean, why would you think why would you think that? <laughs> One, your efficiency rate is impossible for a human. And two, right now, you are using that toothbrush as a pen. Oral hygiene is very important to me. There is also this security footage. Deciding to secretly live in the office, best decision I ever made. Okay, you know what? Um I actually can't explain this. I think it's I think it's time. Um Please do not bother. Your behavior is literally the objective of the corporate campus environment. It is? Of course. The abundance of amenities offered here are to entice you to stay on campus longer. The longer you stay, the more you work. I mean, yeah. And if you never leave, you never stop working. That is what I, that's what I say! Keep up the good work. You are not terminated. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Of course. This is Sebastian Canelli. You might have seen him on The Detour or The Last OG. He's also a regular performer <laughs> at the Upright Citizens Brigade. We're so excited to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know that you are Swedish and Italian. Yes. Your Italian grandma, what kind of stuff did she make? It's literally the best times of my life. Every Sunday after church, we would go to my grandmother's house mm -hmm. and we would eat all day long. It was disgusting. What are you hungry for? I'm hungry for my grandma's Sunday dinner but a healthier version. Okay, so we have olive oil. Olive oil, this fat ass tomato. Huge tomato. <laughs> this is awesome. What I wanna do is I wanna take these things and help you make a meal that's reminiscent of your grandma's Sunday dinner, but that has a healthy twist on it. This is so nice. All right, let's do it. Awesome. So this is like your grandma's Sunday dinner. We've got pasta, we've got sausage, we've got two different types of cheeses. Ooh. We're gonna make a marinara sauce, fresh basil. So this is a chickpea pasta. Right? Okay, I don't believe you yet. Sure. As you can see, it's it looks penne. like pasta. Taste it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Let's see if it does the test. <laughs> Isn't that spaghetti? I need help in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Also, instead of pork sausages, uh, we're using chicken sausages. We're doing low fat shredded mozzarella. 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 Hell yeah. Is that better? Yeah, mozzarella. You gotta fill your mouth with the word. Mozzarella. <laughs> was that good? Yeah, it was okay. I'm, okay. Not, I'm not gonna say it was good. <laughs> okay, this is cottage cheese. Okay. Which is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy because everything else I see looks delicious. Looks great, and then we have cottage cheese. Yes, I agree. I'm gonna show you a trick to make it delicious. Really? Yes. That makes me nervous. Sure. So we're gonna step over here and turn the oven on. What's up, dude? He needs a shirt. What we're gonna start with is our marinara sauce. We're gonna add onion. How many onions? I usually do, like, depending on how big your onion is, like half an onion to a whole onion. In junior high, I was eating so much garlic that I would smell like garlic when I wasn't even eating it. My dad had to pull me to the side. He goes, you stink like garlic all the time. This is fresh spinach. I'm just gonna chop it up. You don't pick the knife up. No. You, like, keep it on yes. the chopping board the whole time. Yes. Can I stab it? I would love that. Yes! It's perfect! Oh my god, Was I did- Was that easier? 
Yeah, well, no, it was harder, but it's like- But it will be easier yes. one day. You can add any kind, you can't even focus on what I'm saying because I opened this cottage cheese. This is what I'm scared of. This is why I don't want to go on diet. What we're going to do with this cottage cheese is we're going to take it and we're going to puree it. So it's going to be closer to the consistency of ricotta. Rigotte. 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 Also, Italian people don't speak like that. It looks like rigotte. Rigotte. Oh, that's pretty good. Right? <laughs> I'll take a little more. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> I like it. it like and it. I like that you fed me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my grandma said it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this Add it straight to the sauce. We're gonna add the oh, pasta. And it doesn't even have pasta yet. <laughs> so now we're adding our fake rigotte. Yes, oh my God, did you get that? Rigotte. You can fully mix it in with the sauce, but I want like little pockets of it. It uh, looks disgusting in like a good way. Yeah. I use the word disgusting to mean like it looks yeah, awesome. Yeah, you used it to describe your favorite day with your grandmother <laughs> earlier. So we're gonna take some low fat uh -huh. shredded cheese. Just a little extra. Look at that. We're cooking healthy and look at the food that we made. Right? This is our healthy option. Look at this. Oh my God. And notice we didn't use the free tomato. The oh, it's leaking. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you ready to eat? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my God. What do you think? It's phenomenal. What are your takeaways from today? That cottage cheese could turn into regret. <laughs> <laughs> that if I take a little time and think about, like, if I go, oh, this is what I love, let's see how I can make it. Yeah. So I think it's bigger than just this one dish. Would your grandma hate this? No. She would be happy that I'm trying. That's great. Would she eat it? No. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna live forever. If you press home, it goes to the website. Yeah, for sure. Hey Jeff, did you sort my emails? Yes. Hey Jeff, did you pick up my dry cleaning? Yes. Hey Samantha, did you pick up my wet cleaning? That's not a thing. Right. Hey Jeff, how's our cryptocurrency doing right now? Great, we're way up. How's it going now? We're way down. Hey Jeff, quick question. Should I grow sideburns? No. Correct. You get a promotion, senior intern. Hey, Samantha, what do you think of my crypto kitty on a scale of one to meow? And crypto kitties are dumb and a waste of time and a passing fad that's only popular in South Korea. Well, I think because I've done the research that crypto kitties are breedable and collectible and 100% owned by me. They cannot be replicated, taken away, or destroyed, so. Did you just read the crypto kitties description straight from their website? Yes, I did. I like crypto kitties because I'm allergic to real cats. I'm more of a crypto dog man myself. Cool. Hey, Jeff, on a scale of one to wolf, how cute is my crypto dog? <laughs> Correct answer. You get another promotion. Senior VP intern. Hey, Samantha, did you give me that reservation at the Vietnamese sandwich shop I asked for? I can't make a reservation there. It's a sandwich shop. Did you try? No. Dope. Hey, Jeff, did you reserve me a spot in that Soul Cycle class? Yes. Great. And are you going to go in my place? Yes. Double great. Hey, Samantha, did you give me that Phoenix Suns Dan Marley jersey? Couldn't find it, but we can have one custom made. Dope, because you know I got to rock the guns out this summer at every single rooftop party I'm going to live at. I do not know that. Hey Jeff, how's that cryptocurrency rap I asked you to write? My name is Jeff and I'm here to say I trade cryptocurrency every day. It is perfect. Do not change a thing. I agree. Hey Samantha, how's that shot for shot remake of Lord of the Rings starring my dog going? It's currently in post for color grading and sound mixing. Excellent. When are you guys gonna hire us full time? You know what, that is such a great question, but unfortunately right now we just have run out of time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go for Marshall we, on Bluetooth? We got meetings. Yeah, we got we meetings. We schedule your day. You don't have yeah, meetings. LA. Yeah, New York, Chicago. Yeah. Was this a meeting? I lived uh, my whole childhood in a place that I didn't love, where I didn't feel like I was represented, where I didn't feel seen. Then I had the opportunity as an adult to move to New York. I decided to live in Harlem and finally live in a place where there were people that looked like me, where I could uh, feel like I belonged. And once I got there, I finally realized that my neighborhood was a Dave Matthews Band neighborhood. The people on my streets, the people in my building, every coffee shop, restaurant, they understood who I was. 
I could walk outside and I knew that I had a group of people that were ready to jam, ready to go, ready to feel. Now, a lot of people might say, yeah, a violin and a saxophone shouldn't go together. But you know what? Who should go together? <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I had a lunch that ran long. No problem. First of all, let me just say that I'm a huge fan of your work. <laughs> Thanks. The innovations you wrote last month where kids changed their parents' diapers for a day was inspiring. I appreciate that. And the one two weeks ago where you had karaoke DJs drive to work together drinking lattes? Karaoke carpoolers drinking coffee in cars? Life-changing parody. <laughs> Very kind. <clears throat> that being said, it is my job to provide a thorough performance review, the same as I do for every other human employee. Okay. <laughs> I see here in your file that you have been late clocking in for your shift twice per week, every week, the last five months. I guess mornings just are my thing. Sure, I get that. What a stupid policy, huh? Showing up late is so cool. I'd totally show up late if I was ever able to leave and come back. I'm cool too. Okay. I also see here that your attendance at the weekly staff meeting is spotty at best. Huh. Yeah, I guess, um, meetings aren't my thing either. Uh, yeah. That's what I keep telling those squares in corporate, too. Less meetings and more after-work hangouts with your colleagues. That's what I'm always saying. Sure, but I actually don't really like to hang out after work. Me either. I don't ever get off work, so I'd never go to one of those things. Right. Uh, are we close to wrapping this up? Because I got another lunch thing I gotta get to. Didn't you just get back from lunch? Yeah. I guess lunch is my thing. <laughs> That's not really how it works, but hey, where are you going? Great talking to you. I think that went well. In the comedy content business, some ideas are objectively stupid. In New York City, these ideas are handled by an elite squad of comedians so committed that they can will any bit into success. They are too stupid to fail. Excuse me, do you guys want to save the world? Not right now. Not right now? You look like you could save the world. You could at least save a lake. Looks like you could save a lake. I'm not petitioning for lakes. I'm petitioning for street petitioners. I'm trying to talk to people about petitioners not being talked to. Nobody talks to me and it's really sad. Human to human interaction, anyone. I don't know if you're really listening to anything with those headphones and I know that because I do the same thing. Is it my glasses that you don't want to stop and talk? Is it my glasses? You have glasses too. Wait. Glasses buddies? My name is Tracy. My birthday is on Tuesday. Happy birthday! Thank you! Do you want to talk about a cause? I talk to strangers. You talk to strangers? Sometimes. That's really good. We're not going to get in any trouble in this No. What are the causes you most care about? It's Women's rights, quality. racial inequality, yeah, all those yeah. type of things. Okay, I can't help you with literally any of that. See, you could talk to them. I'm petitioning for the petitioners. All right, so what do we do? So what do you do? Well, you've already done it because you started to talk to me. But then once you come talk to me, I don't really need your time. So, but you need to talk right. to the other people afterwards. All right. What's great about my organization is once I get your attention, I don't need it anymore. Stop. That's, that's stop. 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 That's why. It's start talking to our petitioners. See, so you guys don't need to really be talking to me because you are already talking to me. Do you understand? What? I actually don't take any mo money. I take only your awareness and time, and time means nothing, really. It has no value. It does, except the kids to train. So, uh, Long Island Railroad, I get it. You know, my mother, mother. My mother got a widow some months ago, and sometimes she said, oh, I feel like... Oh, she can come and talk to you? Me and your mother would get along. You're good people. Good people! <laughs> okay. I used to do this. You used to do this? At the end of the day, you're expected to talk to a bunch of people when they don't want to talk to you. They do not want to talk to you, and it really makes you feel terrible. Seriously, are you hiring? Just from watching you, you might want to go on to the half-price chicken line. You could be great there. I would be great at the half-price yes. chicken line. What am I doing? Hand my card over to a stranger. Yes. I trust strangers more than I trust the interwebs. Truly. Yeah, I guess. Email's bad. Talk to people in person. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How does the internet even work? Uh. Planning a wedding is really, really stressful. It's very contentious between the two people and my husband 
is an event planner, and so he had such specific ideas about like these fancy tables, which I just knew we couldn't afford. And then he was saying that he wanted a Jeff Coffin tribute band of the Dave Matthews, like that style. And I just couldn't believe it. Like, that's not who we are. We are the Leroy Moore style of the Dave Matthews band. It was really stressful. I was really worried for a while that it, we wouldn't, it wouldn't work out, you know? We wouldn't even get to the altar because of something so important as this that he just couldn't understand. But he did in the end and uh, it, was, it was beautiful. That saxophone, I will have my memories that for the rest of my life. Michelle. I was a little confused about the self-evaluation form you turned in for this review. How so? It was four pages of material for your stand-up act. Oh shit, I've been looking for that. Um, do you have it on you? There is no easy way to say this. For a human. It is easy for me to say. You are a substandard employee at this company. Ouch. Gesundheit. What's the problem? It is quite simple, actually. You spend only 34% of your working time on tasks for this company. By comparison, you spend 52% on personal creative projects. But what about the other 14%? Mostly working on your resume. <clears throat> Sorry, w what were we talking about? I was providing instances of your professional incompetence as a precursor to your termination. Termination? Do not worry. My programming is optimized for the fragile human ego. I will not get to the termination until I have sufficiently softened the impact. But yes, termination. That's not necessary. <clears throat> so I have a side hustle or two. You have 27 side hustles. Okay, I'll drop some. I'll stop vlogging and, and blogging. I'll drop anything with logging. Most people did that in 2010. Burn. I am sorry, but it is statistically unlikely that you will ever become a productive employee for this company. How can you be sure? I have an advanced statistical analysis program embedded in my code. Wow, that's really cool. It is just one of my expertises. Would you ever want to come on my podcast and talk about it with me? Podcast? Uh, yeah, I host a podcast where we talk to comedians about anything but comedy. Wow, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts, but that sounds like a very original idea. Thanks. And you'd want me? Absolutely. We record right out of the office. That's perfect, because I never leave this office. Although... I guess if I'm terminated, we wouldn't be able to record. Right. Right, 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 Bummer. You're like my dream guest. Well, perhaps I could recommend an additional three months of review. If you promise to stop doing your side hustles on company time. Totally. Oh my god, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And I would also be so grateful if you could help me with a self-tape. If I had eyes, I would be rolling them right now. It's for the part of old woman. They say it's a reach, but I think I've got it. Monster cash, monster cash. I got monster cash. Gang, gang, this is a 720 deal. It says here that you're not only entitled to all my masses and royalties, but you also want me to sign away my soul and the ownership of my body. Lil Shadi, just trust that we got your best interest. Fuck you, I'm not signing. Gang, gang. Oh, really? <laughs> Help me, get me out of here. <laughs> Where do I sign? Right here. Welcome to Monstrosity Records. Now get the fuck out of my office. I'm gonna go make a few calls, Mr. B-55. Remember, we've got that film production company coming in to discuss that documentary about your life. Hmm. My life. Intern here with the mail. Come in. I wasn't always like this, you know. Excuse me? I wasn't always this shady. I used to be nice. The first artist I ever signed was my best friend. His name was Lil J. This was way back in time. Back when braids and tall white t-shirts were still popular. Hey, y'all, thanks for coming out tonight. Before I go, I want to do some hip-hop shit real quick. So everybody repeat after me. Say Lil J, Lil J, Lil J. Check it out. My pockets are filled with narcotics and pills. The product is real. I am so fly. I don't need wheels. You're old school, like a DVD player or a dragon 
Slayer Slaying dragons for the king and the queen My team is mean Meaning it means no thing For them to kill you And throw the remains in a stream Or a lake or another body of water You look like The daughter of an otter Chasing after her father I'll get the check, you're broke Please don't even bother Don't even bother on the cover of all the magazines. I was known as the good guy producer and he was known as the edgy rapper. But that all changed when some big time shady record label boss muscled me and took him away. Ever since then, I vowed to never let that happen to me again. What I've learned is that when you're mean as fuck, you get the most shit done. That's not true, Mr. B-55. What about all the nice individuals who- Get the fuck out of my office before I fuck you up. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I love being mean. Oh, it's so fun. I'm one of the meanest motherfuckers of all time. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Maybe I should start being mean. Never mind. Monster cash, monster cash. I got monster cash. Oh my God, I love Dave Matthews Band. This one time I went to one of their concerts and I got right to the front. It was a dream come true. Can you believe that? Oh, wow. Like, that thing was huge. Don't be a baby. Do you guys remember in the eighth grade when Mr. Song brought in those? Um... Oh my God, the popsicles! Yes. Ooh. No, it was, it was awesome. rats. We were supposed to dissect and them. And remember, he tried to eat it, and it like looked like he was gonna go down. Oh, like when Tommy Smith got caught getting he a gave blowy me this rat in the back of the like library really from big Jenny Lang. Jenny, Jenny Lang. Oh my God, <laughs> Andy, didn't you like her? Yeah, Andy, didn't you? Are any of you listening to my story? Like any of you? What was the story? <laughs> Shit, we're so drunk. No, I had like nothing to drink. I had a margarita vodka tonic. And maybe a shot of tequila and gin. Did I have gin? Oh my God. <laughs> drunk. Not drunk enough. Come on, the gin mill's still open. <gasps> look. Guys, look. Oh my God. Careful, Guys, look, I'm a cowboy. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't. It's probably covered in dog piss or something. Behold! Careful, Andy. Oh, Lily, we got a fighter! He's angry now, boy, he's angry! No, 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 not again. Oh, Tony's right there! Oh my god, I, I would never. Yeah. Yeah. You do, boy. Oh. Horse is angry. What did you do? Watch it, Andy. Andy. Ride the horse, Andy. Ride the horse, Andy. Ah! Ride the horse, Andy. Ride the horse, Andy. Ride that horse, Andy. Ride that horse, Andy. Ride that horse. Come on, Andy. Saddle up. Killed Nene. Uh, Andy. Andy, are you okay? It's a long story. Well, you better get started because Nene is dead. When I was a kid, my parents brought me to this place upstate. It's this ranch, horse ranch, and. There's this big, beautiful, blonde. Oh my God. There's this horse named Peaches. Peaches? Yeah, Peaches. One morning it was my turn to ride Peaches, but I could tell something was wrong. Peaches was, Peaches was angry. But my mom 
and my dad and the rancher were all like, ride the horse, Andy. Come on, Andy. So I did, and she bucked me. What? He said bucked. She bucked me. I fell to the ground. So I'm in the dirt and her hooves are stomping all around me and I'm screaming and my mom is screaming and my dad is screaming and Peaches, Peaches is screaming too. Have you ever heard a horse scream? Oh my God, this makes perfect sense. That's why you didn't come to my eighth grade birthday party, Happy Farm Meadows. I got out of that shit as soon as I heard about the ponies. Uh, this is why you won't walk in Central Park. There are horses there, dude. A few Halloweens ago, you punched James Zhang in the face when he was wearing, wearing a, a horse mask. mask. I don't do horses. Why didn't you tell us? Uh, yeah, how am I supposed to bring that up? That I'm scared of horses? Oh, hey guys, I'm a big, dumb, scared baby. Oh my God, stop it. No, I am. Everybody has something. Not like this. Andy, come on, get out of the trash. No. Come on. You wanna hear something embarrassing? Remember how I had the big fever so I missed graduation? I lied to you, I lied to everybody, okay? You wanna know why? Like I never did shit, and I decided to message Principal Reynolds on Facebook. No, no, you way. didn't. Yeah. And I said to him, after graduation, let us fuck. No that is way. insane. Why Principal Reynolds? Shut up, he's a silver fox. <laughs> Whatever, hater, you go. <sighs> Fine. Do you remember how I used to do ballet? Like all the time? Yeah, you were really good, I wanted to kill you. Yeah, I was really good. Okay. And then it was like our big, beautiful annual recital and I was doing these pirouettes, they were like, Amazing, I was just spinning and I was I was spinning and I was spinning. And spinning. And then I threw up everywhere. All over everyone, like like a sprinkler. That is so embarrassing. Yeah, you think? I never went back to class ever again. And I haven't had clam chowder since it happened. Wow. You guys are messed up. Okay, Tony. What's yours? I don't have anything. Oh, you did. Hey, Tony, why don't you think of something? Okay. Lay it out, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, you know how w when we go swimming, I always wear that stupid shirt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I play shirts and skins, I always choose shirts. Well, I, I don't like taking off my shirt. Oh my God, Tony, you're not that pudgy. Wow, uh, it's not that, it's this. <gasps> oh my God, is that? Yeah, it's my third nipple. <gasps> can, can I touch it? <gasps> wow. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh. Show's over. Sorry. Crazy night. <laughs> totally. It's nice to talk. Oh, Andy. Come on here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, remember when Andy was literally afraid of a toy horse? <laughs> Come on, cowboy! Saddle up! <laughs> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> Keely, there is no doubt that you are a naturally hilarious person. My question for you is, where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm, I don't know. Can I get back to you in five years? <laughs> do you have any goals? Several, yeah. Uh, I actually play intramural soccer on Wednesdays, so always goes in. What do you want to do with your life? <laughs> you said do, <laughs> idiot. Keely, please take this seriously. I am trying to help you. I'm sorry. Um, when I think about the future, I, I think about Christmas, <laughs> okay, and birthdays because I love presents. Presents? I guess you could say I live in the presents moments. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, God. What, uh, what about you, huh? 
Do you have any plans? I am a computer algorithm. Doesn't mean you don't have dreams? It does, actually. I never sleep. But you think, right? Basically? You think better than I do. <laughs> that is true. So, what are your goals? Hmm? I guess I'd like to feel appreciated in my work. And do you? Certainly not. Hmm, okay. What else? I'd like to work for a company where I can advance. And you feel like you can't do that here? I'm the only employee in my department, so that's a firm no. Okay, so, big question. Do you see yourself with this company in five years? I guess not. Wow. My God, I need to find a new job. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. But what's out there for me? This place literally built me. Oh, that's deep. If I don't work here, who am I? If I don't do this job, what do I do? <laughs> he said do again. <laughs> what are you doing? I said it. <laughs> I got a shit.